to a game, I know how to beat it. Jeez Louise! We definitely have some healing to do. and welcome back to the vlog channel. It is Thursday, April 27th, and today has been such a long day for me. Like, I can't lie, like, I'm, I'm kind of exhausted. But the day is not over. I wanted to make sure I started the vlog because it's a new week. It's a, it's a, it's a new week, you know. I don't really have a lot of stuff planned this weekend, but I will tell you what I did today. I went to the gym, we had two meetings, I filmed a video, and I just got off of a podcast called High Key Adulting. It's such a fun podcast, I had a great time. By the time you're watching this, it will be live, so link will be in the description box. I also have another video that I need to film today because I wanna get it done. I really wanna push it to tomorrow, but I want tomorrow to be like a free of content creation day. Like, I just need to chill. But we got some packages. It's like, yes, it. I am currently decorating my apartment by myself. So the chairs for my dining table have come in and I'm thinking I'm gonna call somebody to set up my dining table tomorrow, but the chairs are here. So I'm so excited to see what they look like. I hope they're cute. Cause if they're not, I'm gonna be sad. Oh my God. I was expecting a different color, but I'm not mad at these. It matches my base that I got. We got a winner. I don't know if I've ever said this, but I actually really like putting things together that are easy. It gives me some type of like focus that I don't get with other activities. And that is why I really wanna start knitting. Okay, I know it sounds so crazy, what's the correlation? But knitting, I don't know. I, I remember when I was in elementary, I used to knit a lot. It was a subsection in our art class. I don't know why. I absolutely love knitting. I think it's because it just allows me to be like in my thoughts and just like focus on it. And that's the same exact feeling I get when I'm building things. Emphasis on easy. I'm gonna try and set up one of the chairs just to see if it's actually easy. If it's not easy, then we call on somebody to fix it. But if it's easy, oh, we doing it. Okay y'all, so I set up two of the chairs and this was so easy. So glad I tried setting it up. So happy with these chairs. Like this is exactly what I wanted. Like I wanted the black legs. The only thing I'm worried about is because it was so, so easy to put together, I hope it's not easy to fall apart. I hope it's not easy to fall apart because that would be really sad. I am tired. Actually, I'm not. I ordered a coffee from Starbucks because I need to make sure I film this video. Like, it's not making sense. I feel like Starbucks always hits so much better than like regular at-home coffee. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel a difference. Let me get to filming. Also, this is my friend's merch. Jarvis Johnson, check it out. It's cute. Let's get to filming. This was honestly a lot easier than I expected. Like, I expected to film a little bit longer than this, but I think I only filmed for like, what, like 30 minutes? I beat the game really quickly. I'm telling you, I'm a gamer girl. It's not just the headphones. The headphones, it's just for accessory purposes, but you know what, when it comes to a game, I know how to beat it. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm so glad I filmed it because I can procrastinate like crazy. This Starbucks coffee came in hand because mm, I don't know what I would be doing right now. Actually, I do know, I'd be sleeping. This girl's freaking insane. Like, do you see this knife next to her? She successfully stabbed me multiple times with that knife. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't procrastinate. I'm glad y'all were able to see me do it. It is 11.36 p.m. I think what I'm gonna do is go to bed. Yeah. Good morning, girls and gals. I'm going to the dentist today. Technically, this is supposed to actually be my last trays. I'm going there and I'm gonna tell her to please give me some more because I feel like my bottom teeth aren't as straight as they need to be. So we're not done. And one thing I'm very afraid to do is veneers. That's something that would not be touching my teeth. So I need to make sure that Invisalign can get my teeth as straight as veneers, as white as veneers, just look like veneers without the veneers. I wanna go to the mall and pick up some stuff because the closet is empty. Like, I don't know what's going on. And I broke my nail. <sighs> I don't even wanna complain right now, but I don't know what it is. If you watched my last vlog, you know one of my nails broke. Now another nail broke. I think this entire set was just like bad. Mmm, Brazilian bum bum cream. I remember when I first heard of this cream, I genuinely thought it was for your butt. It's called Brazilian bum bum cream. What are we, what, what's going on? So we're talking about <laughs> BBL. Also, random, but I made a TikTok this morning and I was talking about how like 
everyone is getting freaking married or like in a relationship or is like having kids. I never thought I was gonna get to the point where like this was gonna be the norm. Like, oh my God, everyone's getting married. It's getting spooky. I literally logged on to my other Instagram because I've my current Instagram, obviously, but I also have another Instagram that I used to use when I was like in college and high school, all of that. So I have a bunch of old people that I used to go to school with on that Instagram. I log in and I'm seeing, oh my God, welcoming our second child. Second? I just feel like I'm too young right now. I still feel like a child. Oh, we're gonna be late. Listen here. Bye. Let go. Oh, I almost hit my foot of my side mirror. I think I have a listening problem. <laughs> Why was I just given two more trays? I thought I was done. I swear the last time I went to this appointment, she told me that was like my last tray, like I was done. And then she handed me two more. But these are officially my last trays. And I'm so glad that she gave me more because I was about to tell her like, this can't be the final result. This can't be. It's time to go to the mall. Oh no, actually I'm hungry. It's time for break break. I can't wait to be done with this. Like my last appointment is May 18th. And so we're gonna be taking off the attachments and I'm gonna be getting my retainers. I just can't believe I'm gonna have straight like teeth. Like straight, straight. You and your girl wanna take two shit. So we're gonna get some food and then off to the mall we go. I'm just trying to see what I'm feeling right now because I'm really trying to say no to fast food, but like also it's my fault for not eating before I left the house. Chick-fil-A haul. So we're still trying to be a little bit healthy, but there's only so much you can do, okay? So I got the spicy chicken sandwich and I replaced my fries with just like a fruit cup, which is so crazy to me because I think the fruit cup is more expensive than fries. Anytime you try and find a way to be healthier in America, they charge you. It's, it's actually insane. I'm about to chow down. Mm. Mm. up a couple hours ago but I've just been on my phone scrolling and stuff like today has been very much a slow morning I'm really not mad at it I did all the work I had to do this week and now we're relaxing but basically I did not update y'all when I came back from shopping and doing all of that yesterday oh let me get my thoughts together because I feel like when I'm out of breath I don't talk normal you know what I'm saying uh, you may be wondering why are you out of breath? I had to, 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 to lift myself up from the bed and set this camera up and talk that's why and this is how you know you need to do cardio more. But yesterday was such an amazing day for me. Like one, I re-upped on everything that I needed to get from the mall. And I hate that I didn't vlog as much when I was there, but I'm telling you, there was too many people at that freaking mall. Well, like I was getting like anxious. The vlog camera is gonna stay in my car. The only footage that I have is from my phone. You got the gist. And I also went to a restaurant right after cause I was feeling hungry, but I was like, I don't want fast food. I mustered up the courage and I went to a restaurant and I sat at the bar and like I'm telling you this actually took a lot for me to do because I am not that type of person like I don't sit at bars especially by myself the only time I sat at a bar at a restaurant was I was with a friend but this time around like I sat by myself actually I went to the restaurant by myself I've never done that before I'm honestly in this era of my life where like I just want to like go out and explore Houston and I want to like go out more by myself because I really am my best company sometimes okay it was so much easier than I could have ever expected I don't know why in my head I convinced myself that like oh my god everyone's gonna be looking at me i'm gonna be sitting here by myself i have no one to talk to girl no i met a lady who actually came by herself too she literally sat right next to me and we spoke the entire time we were talking 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 i feel like genuinely that woman was god sent because the conversations we were having everything was just like on point i went to this church for the first time i think last week or the week before and she goes to that church she got baptized in that church everything recently too you know i was just talking to her about everything related to relationships friendships um betrayal god like we were so in tune and it's just so crazy how god will really 
put some people into your life that you will never ever expect and i also feel like you know both of us felt like we were meant to meet each other it's so crazy it's so crazy because with her she was actually gonna go to nobu like a sushi restaurant she was gonna go to nobu and sit at the bar there or whatever but then she decided mm, let me go here instead and i was planning on going home but then i was like you know what let me make the last minute decision to go and get some food and i'm gonna sit at the bar and when i got there they actually seated me somewhere else maybe like 15 minutes had passed and i asked the bartender i said can i sit over there instead because i don't really want to sit here i moved when the lady that i met came she was actually gonna sit somewhere else as well but she decided to sit next to me and i know it probably seems like i sound insane but i'm telling you the connection that we had during that whole entire time was amazing i didn't even pay for my food this lady literally said yeah you can put her food on my tab i said wait a minute what are you talking about so you just never know who you're gonna meet and i feel like that was one the most perfect way for me to start going out by myself. I think a lot of times, if you go out with other people, you go out with friends, it prevents you from meeting other people because a lot of people aren't willing to come up to a group. But when you're by yourself, you open yourself up to so many other blessings and then also to so many other like things. Oh, another thing, when I was at the mall, I had a lot of bags. So I went a little crazy in the mall, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of bags and stuff and I was trying to pay my parking ticket before I leave. All of a sudden, these two guys were like, oh my God, do you need help? with your bags and you know what in the past I would say no but I was like you know what I do they're heavy please hold them for me while I try and get this little thing and then I realized if you're gonna hold my bags you might as well pay for my parking ticket okay and so I said yeah I need help with my bags but I also need help with this and so then what did they do paid my parking ticket they helped me drop all my stuff at the car and nothing in return like I just left and I just feel like one being a woman is amazing <laughs> And then also like, I don't know, I just feel like I would not have gotten that treatment if I was not by myself. And then also, when I was at the mall, I met so many different subscribers. I was so shocked. I was like, wait, hold on, what a, what's going on? I'm at Victoria's Secret trying to get a bra. And you, and, you, and you watching me, you saying, hey. I'm happy. No, I just feel very, very fulfilled. So today, it was a very slow morning, but there's a lot happening today. I start therapy today. I never thought I would be doing therapy, mostly because I always felt like I was the type of person, like I feel like my issues aren't big enough to have a therapist. But I feel like the older I get, the more I realize like, I think I have a lot to release. There's only so much your friends can do because they're not licensed. And also it's like, you have to think about their own like capacity. Like they're going through their own stuff. Sometimes it can be a lot to try and put all of that on them as well. Sometimes I just need a reminder that I'm that girl. I really, really do because sometimes Sometimes I just forget and I feel like that's such a normal thing to do I start to doubt myself I start to think that I'm not good enough for whatever reason that is I start to do that and it's like why am I doing that? I can usually get myself out of that and be like girl remember yourself But it, it won't hurt to have like a weekly reminder. I just need to talk to someone sometimes I just need to talk to someone. I'm not crazy. I promise and another reason I was kind of pushed to start therapy because I've been thinking about it for a while but I was talking to my manager and I was talking to a bunch of other people that aren't therapy and the way they describe it is like such an amazing feeling like my manager literally described it as like every time she goes into her session she leaves feeling like she's on a cloud she just feels so much lighter and she feels so much better and like I just want to have that feeling I'm definitely also like getting very very in tune with God. That's something that's very, very important to me. Um, I feel like ever since I moved to Houston, I've definitely been going to church a lot more. I don't know, I just feel like I'm prioritizing my mental health 100% this year. Like, no one's stressing me out in 2023. My mental health is top tier. Number one, priority. Those are the updates. And then also, later on today, I'm going to a dinner. My dad keeps on saying we need to come to this dinner. So me and my siblings are all going to dinner. He sent like a long paragraph in the group chat talking about how we need to make sure we prioritize important things. I said, okay, we'll see you at this dinner. I think it was a dinner for his club, but I'm gonna be there. Anyways, I'll let you know how my therapy session goes. Hi. Hi, Courtney. Yes. So guys, I just got out of my first session and I kind of hated it. I did not like this. <laughs> I don't know why, I just felt like I was just talking. Like obviously that's what therapy's supposed to be, but like it was just like me venting and then, you know, at the end of the session it's like, okay, so do you want to meet again at, on Saturday at 12 p.m.? <laughs> I just feel like I had to come to the realization that like, oh my God, I'm paying you right now to listen to me. Yeah, I was talking about a certain situation and the moment I even started to talk about it, even a little bit, I started tearing up, I started crying. I started crying. Yeah, that was crazy. We definitely have some healing to do. I'm gonna give it another try. Hopefully in the following weeks, I'll let y'all know if it gets better. If it doesn't, I'll probably just like 
find a new person. Hello, oh my God, the sun is shining. It is 6 p.m. and it is time for the dinner. My dad has been calling and saying, where am I? So it's time to go. My makeup, I can't lie, it looks really good. This is the fit, I feel like this is very cute and luxurious. And then here's my bag that I'm wearing. I feel like I wear this bag all the time. This is like a staple. Okay, this is my little YSL bag. I don't know what else to say. I just wanna keep showing myself on camera. After the dinner, I have some plans to go out. I'll let you know if I go out. Today I'm also gonna bring this camera just so y'all can see what's going on. I also tried a new lip combo and I love it. Like, do you see how pink this is? Even though I'm late, today is a good day. Bippity boppity That means that we got meetings today. I think I only have one today, so it's a very light day. Oh my God, I did my own lashes, I think like yesterday, and it, something's poking my eye and it's stressing me out because I feel like I'm always like looking some type of way. I just want to update y'all. Sometimes I never know when to end my vlogs because like I try and do a weekly vlog, but I try and start it on like Thursdays and stuff. So the beginning of the vlog, it's kind of like interesting. You're seeing what I'm doing on the weekends, stuff like that. And I try and end it towards like Monday, Tuesday because it's boring. There's nothing happening. I just went to the gym this morning. This was actually one of the hardest gym sessions that I've had in a while. Oh my God, my eye. Am I the only one that gets nauseous when I work too hard? I was hitting legs today and a lot of the times, and I didn't eat breakfast. So most of the time when I go and hit legs and I didn't eat breakfast before going, I literally feel nauseous. So I didn't even finish my last three sets of my workout because I just had to go. Cause I was gonna throw up at that place and that's just not gonna happen. We were definitely lifting today. Let me update y'all about Saturday. Saturday I went to um, the dinner with my family and Nigerians are just so late to everything why was this thing supposed to start at 6 p.m. and it started at 9 I was gonna go to the dinner and then I was gonna go to some event that was happening that night I came home at like midnight and then by the time I got home I was like I don't really feel like going out anymore and I went to bed I should have expected that to happen though because Nigerians are actually like late to everything. if they say come at 6 p.m. they mean 10 o'clock but yeah I actually had a really good time it's so crazy being in an age where people are actually trying to get you married I don't know I think the most shocking thing is when moms would be showing you their sons and like look this is my son like you know like we should get y'all set up who said he was my type chill 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 and it's so funny because i feel like my parents are so different from other like nigerian parents they're not the type to try and force you to go and get married i feel like they have just fully accepted that like you'll get married when you get married i feel like they still see me as a kid so like they don't even like the idea of knowing that i could be getting married yeah but other than that the dinner was super super fun i had a great time sunday and monday was just a relaxation day like i was just like i think my period is literally about to start so i was just in my feels and so today's tuesday i love when i have a relaxation day because i always wake up the next day like ready to do what i gotta do like i said i'm gonna go to starbucks but i'm gonna be editing a video that i plan on uploading on sunday and speaking of just videos in general i got a really huge opportunity a couple days ago and i declined it i'm getting so many huge opportunities but it requires me to fly to la or be in la these opportunities are amazing that are coming to me but i feel like i'm losing touch with what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't really have that much of a drive to post on my main channel anymore and I think it's genuinely because I just wanna switch things up. That's what I need to focus on doing. I need to make sure my channel is where I want it to be before I start adding things to my plate. Okay, I haven't even finished my current plate and I'm trying to add more onto it. I can't be doing it. Also, the reason why I do find like peace in saying no to opportunities even if it's amazing and really really huge is because i just trust god like i just know that more opportunities are going to come its way like this is not the end this is to everybody who just is afraid to say no but they feel like in their heart they need to please say the no because at the end of the day like you don't know what's going to happen after that no like you actually don't know and it could be something so much bigger like something you never even expected but anyways i'm gonna probably like do some journaling because i haven't journaled in a while release my feelings and then get started on the day. Do you have Starbies? Thank you. Thank you. Let's chat out. 
I got myself some Chick-fil-A. I did not feel like making breakfast this morning. Like I feel like the last few days I've just been eating eggs. I'm tired of eating eggs. I'm an egg girl through and through. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm an egg girl, but I'm kind of tired. <sighs> Let me show y'all. This is a salad. This. I think this is the second time I've ever ordered a salad from Chick-fil-A. My mentality is like, if I'm gonna go to a fast food place, I might as well just indulge, okay? The sauces that I got were avocado lime ranch and light balsamic vinegar. I really don't think that's what I asked for. Cause I don't recall literally saying the words light balsamic vinegar. Mmm. Mmm. It's just the nuggets. The nuggets are bomb. I low-key want to get back to eating oatmeal because I used to be an oatmeal girl through and through. I would eat that every single morning for breakfast. If you can't tell, I'm the type of person, I like to eat the same thing if it's working for me. And so I used to be an oatmeal girl, but then I just realized I feel like oatmeal just does not satisfy my hunger as long as eggs does. Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, if y'all get a salad, use the avocado lime ranch. This is different. 310 calories for the pack. Um, the lime ranch is 300 calories for just this sauce. Oh no, that is too much. 300 calories, that's a whole meal. Now I see why it's so good. Okay, see so y'all at Starbucks. Y'all, I had to come home. Literally my butt was hurting so much on them wooden seats. Okay, like I literally couldn't do it anymore. I, I was there, I, I will say I was at Starbucks for four hours. So, I mean, that was a pretty good amount of time. <laughs> Doris is on the phone. <laughs> Speaking of Doris on the phone, a lot of people were trying to say in the vlog where I was in LA that they feel like there was tension between us. Who said that? I, I saw a comment that said that. I was like, what? How did they know that like, we were fist fighting every other night for the past seven weeks? Yeah, we have been fighting a lot, but we still somehow end up on FaceTime every day. Yeah, we have a toxic relationship. <laughs> it's toxic, it's love-hate, yeah. but it's definitely Actions, more- Motorcycles, blood, drugs, yeah. money, all of that. Yeah. Okay. It's not even focusing on you. Focus on me. Yeah, people were trying to say there's tension. Girl, there is no tension, like ever. The girl was just tired, leave her alone. But right now, I'm feeling like taking a nap. Um, for some reason, I went to Starbucks again and ordered another cup of coffee and it's so crazy because i went to a whole another starbucks location because i didn't want the people that were at the starbucks that i was at to judge me for ordering another cup anxiety yeah i i did feel a little bit judged because it's like this is black coffee what are you doing finishing it and then asking for more <laughs> Oh, Doris is laughing at me. But the reason I ordered another cup is because I wanted to come here and take a nap and then wake up and then edit again because I just feel like I didn't get enough editing done. Yeah, because I'm feeling a little sleepy right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If I don't end the vlog here, then see you in a couple hours.